A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus away. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. All right. And let's recap what we learned in our article we read. Okay, so we read something about Iceland, right? That's right. So in our, or in our last article, we learned a little bit about Iceland and how wonderful a vacation there would be. We, we learned mm -hmm. that you can see northern lights there and spot some, what else? You can spot some... But it might not be the best time to see northern lights at this time of year, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. But you can spot some glaciers. That's right, you can spot some glaciers there. And do you remember what hides under some of those glaciers? What hides under some of those glaciers? Uh, oh, volcanoes. That's right, mm, volcanoes, volcanoes do. All right, so everyone, Let's jump into our warm-up question for today. Do you like to travel to a cold or warm place? And mm. why? I like to travel to a warm place. That's right. Like we, I said, uh, I like beach vacations. That's right. So yeah. you do that in warm days, right? Yeah, if you like to go to the beach, you don't want to go to the beach when it's all frozen over or cold. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to lay out what you like to do. But you like to snowboard and ski, so maybe you'll prefer a cold weather. Yeah, a that's, cold place. that's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from Taiwan I've talked to go to Japan during the winter season because they can experience the big snow and walk around and see what that's actually like. Because you don't get too much snow in Taiwan, do you? No, mm -hmm. actually not at all. Just on the mountains, right? Right. Okay. Okay, so what else are we going to learn about Iceland? We are going to learn a lot more about Iceland and why it's fun and magical to go there. Let's yes. find out. Experience the magic of Iceland. Warm-up question. Do you like to travel to a cold or warm place? Why? Another popular place is Diamond Beach. Ice washes up on the black beach and makes it look just like diamonds. Iceland is a very cold place. However, you can still enjoy a hot spring outside. The Blue Lagoon is the most famous hot spring there. The water is a healthy mix of water from the land and the sea. You'll surely want to include this wonderful spot in your trip. Animal lovers will find something to enjoy in Iceland too. Iceland is home to the special Icelandic horse. This native horse is small, cute, and very rare. So when will you visit the magic island of Iceland? Okay, well, it's time to learn more about Iceland. Our article starts off by saying, Another popular place is Diamond Beach. Oh, today we'll give some tourist attractions and some famous sites. Another one is the Diamond Beach. Diamond Beach sounds very beautiful already. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Well, let's continue to look. Our our article continues to say ice washes up on the black beach mm -hmm. and makes it look just like. Diamonds. Wow, so I know you would like to probably take a picture there, right? Yeah, I would like to take a picture there. Would you like to take a picture there like, and sure. pretend you're standing in diamonds? Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> now, we see wash up. This word means to wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. So, the ocean is wash up on the ocean. 
diamond， 那就是钻石啦。在 jewelry 珠宝首饰当中是很常见的，像是有 diamond rings， 钻戒 ，diamond。Necklaces, 钻石项链。那钻石的重量单位是什么呢？其实我们很熟悉，它就是 carat， 克拉。那单词例句给的是呢 ，Gary gave his girlfriend a diamond ring and asked her to marry him. Gary 给他女朋友一枚钻戒，并向她求婚。We also saw look like in the sentence. So for an example sentence, we could use that cake. Was made to look like a Pokemon. Oh,、mm. look like 加上名词，代表就是看起来像。那其他的还有像是 sound like， 听起来像 ；smell like， 闻起来像；放到嘴巴里面 taste like， 尝起来像；或是触摸感觉起来 feel like。嗯。So for example, we can also say you sound like your mom. 你讲话的方式听起来很像你的妈妈。Oh, if I say you sound like your mom, I will you be get... angry. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jumping back to our article, it says Iceland is a very cold place. Well, right. I think it would be cold since it has ice in its name, right? 没错 It's not cold. It's not hotland, right? Yeah, it's not called <laughs> hotland. So we're not. You know, when you have the name Iceland, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be cold.、Right. Okay. Getting back to our article, it says, however. You can still enjoy a hot spring outside. Oh wow! I don't know. I didn't know that there are hot springs. Yeah, I guess there are. Yeah. Interesting. Hot spring is 什么呢 Let's take a look. Hot spring 代表就是温泉啦。其实呢 ，hot 这个字是热的 ，spring 是泉水，所以呢，放在一起 ，hot spring 就是我们说的温泉。那 hot spring 是可以数的哦，所以我们可能会说 a hot spring or hot springs. So for example, there are a lot of hot springs for you to enjoy in Taiwan. 台湾有很多温泉可以好好的让你享受一番。那单词例句给的是呢 ，Mindy loves going to the hot springs. In 新北头 in winter, Mindy 喜欢在冬天到新北头去泡温泉。So you said there's hot springs in 新北头。对。There are some famous hot springs also in 北头 ，right？ 对，北头，新北头。Where else？ 嗯、um, ，If you go south， 嗯哼 ，Maybe 礁溪。Oh， 礁溪。对，宜兰，宜兰的礁溪有 hot spring，、oh, okay. 还有很多。Okay， cool. Well， our article says. The Blue Lagoon is the most famous hot spring there. 蓝湖温泉呢是那边最有名的 Lagoon 这个字呢指的就是西湖 Jumping back into our our article, it says the water is a healthy mix of water from the land and the sea. So again, I bet the water looks beautiful too, right? 嗯，蓝湖温泉呢混合陆地上和海上的水。嗯。又暖又漂亮<笑>、right. ，warm and beautiful. And beautiful, and pretty colors, right?、Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Our article continues to say you'll surely want to include this wonderful spot in your trip. Spot 这个名词什么意思呢 ？Let's find out. Spot 在这边当名词用哦，代表的是地点。A popular or a famous spot， 那就是受欢迎或是有名的地点。那一个观光的地点、景点，你可以用 a tourist spot 或者是 a tourist attraction 来代表。那再来呢 ，a parking spot， 那就是一个停车位。A spot for something, 那就是从事某事的地点，像是呢 ，This is a perfect spot for a picnic. 这是一个适合野餐的好地方。单词例句给的是 ，I know a good spot for pictures in the city. Let's go. 我知道这座城市里面一个拍照的好地方。我们走吧。We can also say, hold my spot in line if we're waiting for something. Oh. When we are lining up, right? right? 排队的时候 hold my spot, 帮我占一下那个位置 That's right. Okay, getting back to the article, it says animal lovers will find something to enjoy in Iceland too. Hmm, lover、mm. 代表的是喜爱某事物的人，像是 animal lovers， 那就是爱动物的人 I wouldn't say I'm an animal lover, but I am a cat lover. Well, a cat is an animal, then. So, but I don't love all animals. So you are a cat lover, right? Okay, and、yeah. I think we both are. Yeah, I think we're animal lovers. Just, are you a chocolate lover? You could also say you're a chocolate lover, or 
A lot of people like to watch anime, and some people will say, "Oh, I'm an anime lover. I love anime." 对，就是前面放上你喜爱的那个东西，那个名词，然后后面再接上 lover 就可以了。嗯、mm, ，That's true. We do love our fat little cat so much. 没错。All right, but getting back to the article, it says Iceland is home to the special Icelandic horse. Oh, Icelandic!、Mm. 这个形容词是冰岛的，所以我们现在学会了它的国家名称 Iceland。形容词 Icelandic。那这边还看到的是 is home to， 是点点点的所在之处。冰岛有特别的冰岛马，嗯、mm, ，冰岛特有。嗯、right. mm. ，Okay. Jumping back into our article, you guys, it says this native horse is small, cute, and very rare. These horses are from Iceland, so we say they are native. 是的 ，native 这个形容词呢，就是动植物原生的。那冰岛马是冰岛的原生动物，所以我们用 native 来形容它。那再来呢，我们还看到 a b and c 这个平行的句构，要注意哦。a b 还有 c 三者必须要是同个词性。像在课文当中呢，我们看到的是 small 小的形容词。Cute, 可爱的形容词，还有一个 rare， 它也是形容词。不过它是什么意思呢？我们先看一下吧。Rare 这个形容词啊，代表稀有的、稀少的。A rare species， 那就是一个稀有的物种，或者是呢 ，a rare disease， 那就是罕见的疾病。那像是。机会，我们也可以用 rare 来形容哦。A rare opportunity， 难得的机会。那再来啊，如果你在 rare 的字尾加上 ly， 你会得到一个副词，它是频率副词 rarely， 代表很少，几乎没有。那你也可以用 seldom 来说。For example， I rarely see her in this gym。我很少在这间健身房看到她。那单词例句可能是啊 ，It is rare for Paige to shout at someone. She must be very angry. Page 很少对人吼叫，他一定是非常生气。So it looks like there's a couple ways that you can say rare and rarely, right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you own anything that's rare? I think my cat is rare because、oh. he's unique. Okay. Yes, he is unique. So <laughs>、uh -huh. we have a rare cat. Maybe you guys have a rare Pokemon card or a rare video game. Right. Okay, getting back to our article, it says, "So, when will you visit the magic island of Iceland?" 我们这边看到疑问词 when， 它当句首。好的，问句跟答句要该怎么问跟回答呢 ？When 问的是时间，所以回答你也要包含时间哦。像是呢 ，When did you get up this morning? 今天早上几点起床？啊、uh, ，I got up at seven thirty. 所以 seven thirty 就是回答的重点，七点半的时候起床。再来一个 ，When did you have breakfast? Uh, I ate around eight o'clock. 八点的时候吃，所以八点是个重点。再来 ，When did you arrive here? I got here a little bit after ten thirty. Okay, so ten 点半之后抵达，十点半就是一个重点。所以呀，课文的最后 ，at the end of our article for today， 这边问到的是，各位什么时候要去造访冰岛呢 ？When are you going to visit? I don't, Iceland. I don't know. When do we have time to visit? Maybe next year. I hope so, and we could see a lot of the unique or rare horses, glaciers, gl glaciers, and the hot springs. Right.、All、okay. Right. But now we have to go to our magic box, and then we'll be back with our review time. Okay. Magic box. Hmm. Hmm. <音>像我樱木花道这样的天才，不只是篮球，就连英文都难不倒我啦！哎，你还只会单纯的 yes no 问句吗？今天呢、啊，就让我这个天才来教教你怎么造简答题问句吧。英文里面呢，要最简单形成问句呢，我们可以直接倒装了。例如呢 ，I am a basketball player. 我是个篮球员。我们呢可以把 be 动词倒装呢，就可以形成问句啦。Am I a basketball player? 我是个篮球员吗？哎呀，什么废话，我当然是啦。但是呢，这就是 yes no 问句的形成方式啦。如果呢，我们要把 yes no 问句呢是非题要、哦、变成简答题，哎，这个时候呢，我们就要请出 wh 疑问词来造。句啦
。WHO 疑问词有哪一些呢？像是哦 ，Who 谁，或者是呢 ，When 何时 ，Where 哪里 ，Why 为什么 ，What 什么。Which 哪一个以及 How 如何 ？OK， 这些呢都是疑问词哦。疑问词呢，我们要造句的时候啊，就要把它放到句首的位置，后面呢加上我们一般倒装过的问句就可以啦。例如呢 ，Are you going to the game？ 你会去看比赛吗 ？A G 题呢是是非题哦，会去或不会去。但是呢，如果我们今天加上了疑问词 ，When are you going to the game？ 你什么时候要去？或是比方呢 ？Where is the game？ 比赛呢是在哪里呀、啊？这时回答呢就不只是单纯的 yes or no， 就可以问到其他资讯啦。W H 疑问词就是这么好用哦。今天呢，我们就来多看一下 when 这个疑问词哦。这个、疑问词呢就可以用来问时间，回答的时候呢，自然也要回答时间了。后面呢，就像刚刚说的，可以搭配 be 动词或助动词倒装形成的问句，像是呢，今天啊，有人想加入篮球社哦，他就问了 ，When will the application start？ 什么时候可以开始申请呀 ？It will start tomorrow， 明天就可以开始申请啦。或许呢，像我的好朋友杨平啊，他买了一台新的摩托车，超帅的啦。When did you buy this new motorcycle？ 你什么时候买的新机车啊 ？I bought it on my birthday this year。我今年生日的时候呢，买的啦，买给我自己的生日礼物。所以，除了呢 ，be 动词或是助动词倒装形成是非题问句 ，yes no 问句之外呢，也可以搭配 w h 疑问词。而 when 这个疑问词呢，超级好用，就是拿来问时间呢、啊。希望呢，你已经记起来了。Okay, so for our review time, everyone, let's review the words. We have diamond, 钻石 hot spring, 温泉 spot, 地点 rare, 稀有的稀少的 Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to come up with some riddles、mm -hmm. to make you guess to see what words could be the answer. Okay. Okay. So number one riddle: When it's cold. You can relax in me. I am hot and I smell weird. What am I? I'm hot and I smell weird. <laughs> yeah. What am I? Um, 热热的。不过呢，闻起来怪怪的。这个是 hot spring 嘛，对不对 ？It's hot spring. It's not chow tofu. It's hot spring. <laughs> you don't relax in a chow tofu. You don't relax in stinky tofu, right? <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> All right. Number two. I am a place for you to go. I can also be something on your clothes. Ah,、huh. what am I? I'm a place for you to go. 那就是一个去的地方，那就是 spot, right? Very good. But here, I can also be something on your clothes. What does that mean? I could say, oh, look, it. You have a spot on your clothes. Ah,、uh, 就是如果衣服上有脏污啦、污渍啊，那个点就是一个 spot. That's right.、Mm. All right, number three. You can buy me. You can wear me. You can send me to somebody as a gift. What am I? 可以买我，可以带我，还可以把我送给朋友当礼物。那就是今天的很漂亮的 diamond. Diamond, xing xing, diamond.、Mm -hmm. All right. And number four, people use me to describe something that is not common, such as an animal. A plant or a disease. Oh, animal, 动物 plant, 植物或者 disease,、mm. 疾病，还有像是 species, right? 物种 Mm-hmm. Rare. It's rare. All It right. It's rare to describe something that is not common. That's correct.、Mm. All right. Well, hopefully you guys had fun doing that. We had a great time doing that with you guys today. So I'm Teacher Adam. I'm Elsie. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Experience the magic of Iceland. Warm-up question: Do you like to travel to a cold or warm place? Why? Another popular place is Diamond Beach. Ice washes up on the black beach and makes it look just like diamonds. Iceland is a very cold place. However, 
you can still enjoy a hot spring outside. The Blue Lagoon is the most famous hot spring there. The water is a healthy mix of water from the land and the sea. You'll surely want to include this wonderful spot in your trip. Animal lovers will find something to enjoy in Iceland too. Iceland is home to the special Icelandic horse. This native horse is small, cute, and very rare. So when will you visit the magic island of Iceland? Word power. Diamond. Diamond. Gary gave his girlfriend a diamond ring and asked her to marry him. Gary gave his girlfriend a diamond ring and asked her to marry him. Hot spring. Hot spring. Mindy loves going to the hot springs in Shin Beito in winter. Mindy loves going to the hot springs in Shin Beito in winter. Spot, spot. I know a good spot for pictures in this city. Let's go. I know a good spot for pictures in this city. Let's go. Rare, rare. It is rare for Paige to shout at someone. She must be very angry. It is rare for Paige to shout at someone. She must be very angry. 电视字会 Lover, lover. Native, native.